We're out and about. We're out and about. I thought we were doing our whole intro, so I didn't know what we were doing. Okay, out and about today, actually getting tubs to pack up our other camper, and um, came across a local RV, RV show. Yep. It's always fun to stop and check things out. Plus, we don't know. We may be looking for another <laughs> one. <laughs> our new home might be here yeah. somewhere. <laughs> but man, we've already been in and looked. This is after the fact. We found some scary stuff to show you in these new RVs. Crazy. Talk about nothing but junk. Mm hmm. To say I would never buy from this dealership is an understatement. New, new and broken. New and broken. We came to a local RV show. We really like this floor plan. But you walk into the unit that's on the show and you got the tape on the bathroom you think oh they just don't want you going in there now look at that shower door must have shattered in transport or something so they just left it like that for the show and then the tape's catching all the bugs look at that really you can't clean that up for a show we're on a show lot in town here in vermont and this is the second one we went in that's just got issues, so it's oh, interesting. It's filthy. And I'm they're like, all filthy, yeah. Why would you bring something? I mean, there's dead bugs all up in the counters. Like, why wouldn't you sweep it out? Wipe, Dirt and wipe gravel. it down? Yeah. It, it, there's empty water bottles or half empty water bottles everywhere. It's just kind of gross. And to be honest, we went to this dealership and looked around that's doing this show. And everything was, doors were falling off the hinges. I would it's never crazy. buy from these people. Why would you not put the effort into getting that glass off the right. floor? It's like when you order dinner and they talk about the presentation of your food. Right. Like, it, it should look nice. You walk into this and what about all this nastiness would make you want to buy it? Unbelievable. Yes, I'm going to spend $100,000 on a fifth wheel that looks... Well, no, this one's only seventy one nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. But... Point being, I'm not gonna spend all that money and have it look nasty. I mean, look at the even just yeah, it's the, gotta look be. At the bugs up there. Yeah, here I'll show you. Look at the counter. You got dead bugs. Floor's filthy. It's like not fair to the to the camper. Yeah, this is a nice floor plan, and Saber's a good model. Look at the seat looks all funky. Yeah, seats all. Discolored and got dirt on it. I'll walk around and see if we can find some other discrepancies. <laughs> What's this in the ceiling? What is that? Oh my god, that looks like a burn. That's either a, a burn hole, a burn, or, or a mold. I think that's probably something got hot, huh? It does. It looks like burn. Bolt hanging out. Something burned. That's ridiculous. So look at this one. I guess they hit something. Yeah, let's put that on the show lot. Oh let's go inside this one. You know we'll find something in here. Big old saber. It's crazy. Let's oh see. My God. Look. What is it? Holy <laughs> crap. Oh my God. Look at that. And this is a freaking show. This is a brand new unit. $69,000. And someone had to put that show price in there looking at these. <laughs> I mean, the whole valence is ripped out of the wall. Both oh of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wonder if it had anything to do with uh, the impact on the front. <laughs> we got the dirt in the floor. Oh, my God. The floor's torn up. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look Holy over, cow. Look over here, too. I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. What a deal. Yeah. Love it. There's no glass in the shower. The bathroom might be the only thing that's intact. That's crazy. Okay, we found a cool travel trailer. It's an Eagle by Jayco. You got your big outdoor area here. We'll just show you a quick, oh, it's on hydraulics too. Well, not hydraulics, but you know, the shocks. That's nice. This is, huh, there's no number right there. Let me see here. 320FBOK. 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 It's 
nice. You come in, you get a big, it just says pull. So it's a false knob. That's nice storage there. It actually has nice, not to get in your way, but there's like a big um, closet there. Nice. And then look, this is a big big one too. Nice. The front bedroom. This is nice. Looks like a queen bed. And that, that thing up there lifts up. There, it's like a big chest almost. Like. This is neat. Nice front windshield. It's dark in there, but that's a big old chest, like Megan said. And, and all of those. Yeah, plenty of dresser space. Dresser space. This is a nice big roomy bedroom. It's more room in here than our fifth wheel. This is your kitchen. Decent counter space. I like the light wood in the kitchen. Nice appliances. I think this is a three burner. Yep. Three burner cooktop. Yeah, like maybe for. Yeah, well, Ooh, so you can put your pots and pans yeah, there's your there. sink cover. You could fit a couple pots and pans down there, be all you need. Lots of drawer space, nice. Oh, there's another deep one, that's nice. Yeah, maybe we should get rid of our fifth wheel when it's fixed and jump in something like this. Fridge. Yeah, it's nice. And it's got yep. the TV and you got your right across theater, from the seating. theater seating right across from the entertainment center. The way it should be. Yeah, the way it should be. Right. Very good, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> and then and the bathroom, the whole back is a big bathroom. You get up from watching your show. Well, it's a commercial break. Got your facility, which is nice and big. I step in here and you can see that's looking out to the front. Look at this big old deep storage, and that goes all the way up. That's the whole whole width of this here, length of that there. And you got this back here. There's some plumbing access, but that's a lot of storage there. No TV it could pass the, the toilet test. I can't read that. Is that for a washer? Is that a dryer vent thing, maybe? I don't know. There's other access there. I'm thinking, yeah, you put your combo unit in here huh. and you can vent it out right there. Cool. And you got all this shelving here. I guess that screw probably came out of that vent thing up. Just a quick little peek around this unique little travel trailer. It feels very like spacious. It mm -hmm. feels like everything feels wide and open, very um, looking, cozy. Looking to price fifty seven thousand. Yep. In this market that doesn't seem too bad. It's brand yes. new. Yeah. Very nice. And Huh, they put on here the replacement value is seventy six. That's interesting. Six. So it's thirty eight feet. And I don't know what the weight of the camper is. Let me see. So the gross vehicle weight is 10,900 pounds. Sorry for the abrupt ending to this video, but GoPro decided that we were done. So this is of course another day. We just want to thank you for watching, seeing all this crazy damage. And knowing there are lots of good reasons to go to RV shows. This one just happened to be extra interesting yeah and next week our video will be us saying goodbye to the durango where they pick it up so make sure you come back for that lots going on thank you so much and until the next video we hope you're trading the everyday for a better day